Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games, and tonight, Atari 8-bit games, <laughs> the computer line of Atari. Lovely. And I have my XEGS, In which is an pixel? equivalent yeah. computer. It has a keyboard. It has all the peripherals that you you can attach things to it. You Lovely. can attach a tape, a disk drive, a, whatever you want. Put cartridges in it. But I bought it for games. So that's what we'll be playing tonight. We're going to be playing a retail version of The Last Squadron. Ooh. An incredible shooter. Vertical scrolling shooter. Nice. Yes. And uh, this was the winner of the Atari Homebrew Awards last year nice. for 8-bit line. Nice. And it was also the award winner for ABBUC as well. It's a good game. Nice. And we'll also be playing Flob. I printed out the instructions. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a fun platformer. I think you'll really get oh, a kick cool. out of it. It's okay. very, very cute. Yes. Little little pink, pink blobs. blobbies running around. I nice. think it's actually red. but. Uh, gathering up its little blobby friends from danger. It's very, very cute. Sounds very cute. Um, so welcome to the show. It's a little bit later tonight if you're tuning in on Twitch mm -hmm. due to scheduling conflicts. But I'm glad you're all here or watching on YouTube later. Pup a couple people in the uh, forums were like, it's too late for a school night. <laughs> Why it is, is it so late? late for a night. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, they can watch it on YouTube. They right. they said they're going to watch it tomorrow on YouTube, which mm. you know that is an option. There you go. If you can't stay up late enough, um, yeah, it's two hours later tonight. Just yeah. one off, just a one off. That's okay. Sometimes it happens. It happens. We yeah. switch days, but I let you guys know. Yeah. And it's always available on YouTube. So we're going to be playing those two games both. Brand new-ish. Uh, the cartridge was released in 2021. Flob is from 2021. Mm -hmm. um, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are supporting the show. Mm -hmm. And they're all down that Ooh. side of Tanya. Uh, they are 8-Bit Swami, Alan DeFerro, Armscar, Coder, Atari, HB, BR, Pocock, Buck, Owens, Cafu, Man, 2D, Catalog, Charles and Shark, Charles Whelan, Chive, Hoka Coconut... Dan, if you see Drexel, Dr. Moo Cows, Fat Beavis, Great Offender, Gretobs, Jedekaya, Johnny WC1, Urata, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco 2600, Mark's Basic, Melatari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zonu, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nyan Dare, Pack Rat, VG, Koag, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo, Pim6, Sweets, Mitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Washman, Tiki Dan, KTM Events, and Trek MD. Mm. It's amazing how many mm. people are on that list. Thank you so much for supporting the show and loving the show so much that you would contribute to it. It's, it's so awesome. It's so nice. It helps yeah. me buy games like The Last Squadron. <laughs> it really does. And continue to showcase games on the show, right? Yes. yes. Um, and you can get your name on that list too. Or if mm -hmm. it's gone and you did have your name on it, just hit subscribe. And if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. Yay! So why not? Yes. We are your favorite Twitch show, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or at least second favorite. So, you know, every second month you can switch back, back and, and forth. forth. Yep. It is hot. <laughs> Cafe Man 2D. We are sweating. It says 27 degrees. 27. In non-freedom units. Yes. Um, <laughs> which is, it's quite hot and sweating. Yeah. We're under the lights and we're going to be actively playing games. Yeah. Um, thank you for tw joining us in Twitch, Cafe Man 2D, the D Train, Atari 2600 dude, Sausage Toes. Nice. Welcome. First yep. time chatter. Dan AVC, RC7E, Marco Johannes, Charles Reese, uh, Vitoko, R Socket, and everybody else who's lurking mm -hmm. and staying up late to watch the show. Thank or you. Yes. You're in another country and it's the next day. Yeah. Or the day before. Or the day before. Like depends on where you are. Are you guys limiting the eight Atari 8-bit games you play to cartridge releases only? No, no, no. Just happens to be today. I don't have the cartridge for Flob. For Flob, yeah. But it is a cartridge game. Um, no, we'll play anything. Yeah, I've got the AV key, AVG cart there. Mm -hmm. I've got the attachment for it as well, so it can emulate a disk drive. Mm -hmm. So I can play all the games. Um, we love the show, it's true. Oh, <laughs> thank you, D Train. Uh, I heard some Mule earlier, love that on my 800. I love that on the, my C64. Yes. Mule is awesome. And I just read the other day about Mule, it was one of the earliest, it was the first game to do something. I think it was like resource management, 
It was like the first resource management, management game. game. Because wow. in that, you wow. buy plots of land, and you auction them off, and you trade them with people, and you have to put them in specific spots. You So you get energy or food, and it's uh, in this over uh, world kind of map, and you have to pick which areas you want to mine, and, mm. and you survey land for doing mining. That's cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh my god, I played it all the time. I, you, I think we usually played it with... No, we, I played it with four people. Yeah, and wow. it's a four-person four game. Really? Did it ever come out on the um, Atari 5200? Because that has four ports for four joysticks. If anybody knows, I'm pretty sure it did, but if anybody can mm. verify that, because that would be a very cool one to play with four people. Mm. Um, cue, cue that lovely bean footage. Bean footage? <laughs> what beans? Toe beans of cats? Cute. Um, <laughs> So, I was going to do a poll question today, but the po the poll website is down right oh, now. Oh, the actual website that it yeah. runs through? Oh, no. Yeah, earlier 5200 or four-port consoles. Yeah. I do have a four-port, so that's why I'm asking. So oh, if you that's what I'm going to get it. upgraded, the video uh, upgraded on. Okay, cool. Um, so we can play a four-player mule, which mm. would be very, very cool. Hmm. I, I mean, it's not a homebrew, but, you know, it's a four-player <laughs> game, and that's pretty cool. Um, and somebody was asking me if, before the show, Atari Age sold 5200 Mule. Oh, maybe I can get uh, mm. Al to do a one-off one for me. Mm. Um, or maybe the game is somewhere, at least. you can. Or I could buy it, or, yeah, just play it, because I've got it. a multi-cart for the 5200 as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I've been mentioning this, but I'm getting some of my systems upgraded. Yes. And one of the systems is the Atari XEGS, which is what we're playing the 8-bit games on tonight. I'm going to get the, um, so, what is it? Is it the Sophia 2? Um, let me just make sure. Yeah, Sophia 2, which mm -hmm. is a DVI output, which mm -hmm. is a digital output. Mm -hmm. Also, I'll be getting that for the 5200. And also be getting the one megabyte upgrade for the XEGS, so it can play everything. And my Intellivision upgraded. So it'll look a lot better than Whew. it will look tonight. Okay. Um, it I'll looks, keep that in mind. <laughs> Is it okay? It looks 80s. It looks 80s. Because it, it has composite out. It's, it's, got it's, the, it's got the 80s filter on it right now. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a deliberate retro filter. <laughs> retro filter, yeah. <laughs> I would take it off, but that would just ruin the authenticity. Yeah. <laughs> Uh -huh. You guys are determined to make me buy an XEGS. Mm. I don't know if XEGSs are cheaper or more expensive than the actual computers. Mm. Um, I don't know if there's they're more common. I think they're less common, so they would be more money. I have no less... idea. It's one of the most beautiful computers oh, I've ever seen in my life. Can you guys see it? I think you can. Oh. I know I know it's a the console version of a computer, but there's there. something about those pastel colored buttons. The, the gigantic Smarties, as we would call them oh, here in they're Canada, gorgeous. Uh, they're so nice. Yeah, yeah. The, our cat cam is is in like. Oh, there we go. Two two frames a second mode. Yeah. So I don't know what's going on with that. It's hot. Things are malfunctioning. <laughs> yes. That's what happens when it's hot. The cats are malfunctioning too. Atari is just off off uh, screen here, and he's just just a puddle of cat right now. Oh, Esther so. Mary says it's pretty pricey. So yeah. it might be cheaper to just buy a computer. Yeah. Which there were tons and tons of them made. Yeah. So but it that is might be pretty better. cool. It, it is. Cool. And that's why I bought it. Because I, I mean, it just looks awesome. Yeah, and I've got the, gun, uh, the light gun to go with it as mm. well. The matching light gun. Yeah. Um, so we've got some mail to open up here. Mm. Um, I think I know what it is. And the person who sent it to me is in the chat. Oh! So we'll see if it actually is. Yes, Captain Classic, you did miss nine minutes of the show. <laughs> Everyone's like, it's thin. It must be a patch. Well, that's a very good guess. <laughs> a possibly an accurate guess, too. Yep. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Don't want to miss anything. That's like the worst. The diagonal like. cart slot makes it unique. Yes, everything oh, that, about it. It's just so the cool. The buttons, the slot, the very geometric um, design on the top. So there's no it's uh, so cool. letter or anything. 
But Dan ABC knows. <laughs> it is a patch. Yay! So this was sent to me by Dan ABC. Very nice. Um, it signifies me. Nope. Actually, I have to read it first. Oh, I haven't actually even okay. looked at it. As the Harmony Games Zookeeper Champion. Oh, so there you go. You want to take it up to the cat cam? Uh, hold it very still because the frame it's like two frames it's a second not, it's frozen it's frozen so it just oh. oh no it's like very bad i think oh, it's the heat going on? so just hold it very 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 still it still hasn't refreshed yeah it's terrible oh it's problematic well they saw it <laughs> it's problematic good enough it's problematic yes um so this was part of the Harmony Games, um, and I was the overall winner, and also the Zookeeper winner. Why? Oh, oh, now it erased the chat. No, it looks right. It's totally oh, fine. Oh no! Just what is going on? on? Weird. <laughs> uh, Dan ABC said it's not a great patch. It, it's it is not, a nice. It's not patch. embroidered. Oh, and but it's, it's still and a, it's good a little patch. bit blurry. But it is a patch, and it's awesome. Yes. Um, <laughs> So it's for the AVC Online Harmony Games uh, patch for Zookeeper. Mm. Uh, they saw it, so mm. that's good. Um, and he also ran the competition live at an event uh, at VGS. What mm. that stands for, I forget. Um, and somebody did beat me. What? But Dan looked away, and the person who was playing wasn't instructed properly. Oh, no. So they kept rolling the the levels over and over again oh i see because you're supposed to stop on level four in the game and yeah. he kept looping looping oh looping, i see looping. yeah that would um, yeah. and so he he racked up quite a score but you're only you're supposed to only go to you keep your score from the end of level four and then it's done yeah, yeah so okay. so they got a patch a different patch for playing it live gotcha yeah um so he gave a patch to both of us to be fair nice which is very very nice yeah um, and he plans to uh, do this patch award next year as mm. well. So looking forward to that. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure what he's going to do. This is for one single game. Um, he's not sure if he's going to do it for the whole thing or just one single game again. Yes. Or for just the, the port, the winner of the best port. Nice. But we will see. Very cool. It is a cool patch. And yeah. I am very honored and humble <laughs> to win it. I gave him my best. Yeah. And um, yeah, it did pretty good. Um so my I think I've been talking about the 5200 joystick I ordered mm. and it is on its way oh where is the website that I ordered it from there it is okay so I'm going to show you what the joystick looks like mm. nobody can see it yet don't make noises <laughs> I'm allowed to make noises yeah. because they can't see it yet so there it is. Um, this is from Retro Game Boys. Mm. Uh, it is a digital joystick. Okay. Which most games on the 5200 are digital. Okay. There are some analog ones where it's kind of like a paddle, but it's yeah. used with a joystick. You know, like Vectrex, where it's, it can move mm -hmm. and you, it knows your position. But this is just uh, digital. Left is one on off, right is on off. Up, gotcha. Down. And those are the dials, so it's not going too much left or too much right. You have to dial them in. And yeah. you can use those as paddles if you want. Oh, that's neat. So you neat. actually can. Yeah. Um, Majestical, I agree, Cafe Man it today. It is. And those buttons look... Fa There's something about... Because they're so solid and plasticky. Yeah. They look like you can hear them click just by looking oh, yeah. at them. Like... Click, click, click. Yep. Yeah. They'd be making noises like this. Yes. Oh, yeah. It's a good noise. Um, Probably even better. Maybe. <laughs> Who knows what buttons. But that red one actually lights up. So it's LED as well. Ooh, uh, that is so fancy. <laughs> and it's got all the controls you want. It's got every control that a 5200 normally has. That's so cool. It's got the two buttons. I ordered one with, I believe I ordered the black stick with the primary button is the red button. Gotcha. And the secondary button is black. So mine will look more like this. Mm. And it just shipped today. Um, so I've got the tracking number. And he actually sent me a picture of my actual joystick. Ooh. Um, so let's take a look at my actual joystick. Oh, wow. Nobody can see it yet. You're so funny. <laughs> You're showing it to me. I don't know. Oh, no, it's a solid it. red. It's not a light up one. Oh, okay. okay. So there it is. 
Uh, and it has 5200 mm. inscribed. Do the other one have 5200? Yes, it okay. did. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, it looks it looks bomb proof too. It, it looks does. solid. It looks like a very solid piece of it's, plastic. It's the um it's the bolts that they have around the joy <laughs> the joystick too. Like like yeah. something about that just makes it look like it's gonna weather well, you know? You could throw those it across like, the room, it'll still work. Those look like Allen Allen key keyed, uh Yeah, screws. Yeah, they do, yeah. Which which would be very nice screws. Nice, but um, they're solid. They're they're like yeah. not little flimsy little screws. They're like nice solid so screws. I'm looking forward to that. Didn't it's the original have nice. four buttons? Uh, I don't know. Never used one because they were all broken. <laughs> did the fifty two ever have that many keys? It did. It had. It uh, it had uh, the A B C D. Um, let me just show you again. The original. The game. original one didn't have A, B, C, D. It had start, pause, gotcha, etc. And those are equivalent. I'm just guessing that number pad is, is just cheaper. Like I it's see. available. Yeah. Rather than something that says start, you can get start. Yeah, you could put stickers on them. Start. And... You could, or beside them. Yeah. So yeah. you know, because the stickers might peel off. But True. yeah, that's Fair very enough. cool. Two are redundant. Thank you, Cafe yeah. Man Tootie. Uh, uh, so Dan said, I'm thinking about doing for each year for the online part of the Harmony Games. Um, actually started for VGS a few years ago. So he's been doing the patches for real life, uh, competitions. Yeah. Hello, a cardboard box. Uh, so more news. Um, there was an artwork update by Nathan Strum. Didn't quite get all these news. <laughs> sent over oh no I don't have it well I'll just bring it up because I do have the link um, so he does a lot of artwork and I don't have the link okay so I'll just read it out he said uh, so he gives updates once in a while on projects he's working on and the ones that haven't been released give he puts code names to it I'm not look at those today but he updated ones that are announced uh, Gorf Arcade Ladybug Arcade, Galaxian 7800, Pac-Man uh, XM 7800, and Uniward 7800. He has all got the artwork approved. Oh. So that gives you an idea of what is coming up nice. soon. Um, mm -hmm. So Garf Arcade, Ladybug Arcade from Champ Games, mm -hmm. and from Pac-Man Plus, Galaxian 7800, Pac-Man Collection, XM 7800, Uniward 7800 mm -hmm. are on their way. They're being made. Yeah. Nathan's artwork is awesome. Mm -hmm. So good. No bubbles, so not a gin tonic. <laughs> Looks Actually, like lime water. It, it <laughs> probably has booze Everyone's, in it. Everyone's, it does have a little bit of gin. So what is it today? It is soda water, lime, and a little bit of gin. A ah, little bit of gin. It's going to have not a drink a lot. Of it, but yeah. it has gin. So, yeah. A little bit of Gordon's. Actually, I'll perfect. I'll stick to my water. Well, it, it's more water than anything else because oh, it's okay. so hot. So, yeah. Um, so this question came up at the last, the end of the last show, but I wanted to put it over to this show, and mm. everybody in YouTube land can type it as well. Um, what are some of your favorite movies or documentaries about video games, or about computers in general? Like they don't have to be documentaries; they can be fictional films as well. Um, mm. My favorite docs, off the top of my head, King of Kong, mm, Fistful excellent. of Quarters. Yeah. Um, even though it plays with the timelines and the rivalry and blah, blah, blah. It's still very well made. It's a well-crafted story. Yes. And that's what makes a good movie at the end of the exactly. day. Whether it's entirely, like, accurate, uh, yeah. that's a little... I've heard, you know, things are not, things are expanded, exaggerated. Yeah. The rivalry really wasn't there. Um, I mean, the competition for scores, of course, yeah. was. People always wanted the top score. But that's kind of, yeah, yeah. that's kind of par for the course. Um, yeah. Indie Game the Movie, so good. Yeah, that was so, good. So, so good. I remember that one. Um, it focused on Super Meat Boy, Fez, and one other game that I can't remember. And Super Meat Boy is being released by Limited Run Games oh, very cool. soon. And its sequel, nice. so I'll finally have it on mm -hmm. cartridge. Yeah, because I think it's for Switch, maybe PS4. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, favorite movies? These are j these are old ones. Um, War games and sneakers, because oh, they're fairly accurate. Not really, but 
part most of the parts that are pretty good to deal that deal with the Technology actual computers in the computers yeah um aside from the ai and you know launching missiles and stuff yeah um everything else that he shows you know the the couplers on the phone hacking yeah. in yeah getting you know all the hacking the phone to get free phone calls like all that's legit yeah. stuff yeah yeah, yeah and yeah. bypassing the security on the door yes and sneakers is is very accurate from what i, I know as well and it's very very good i remember well. loving i remember loving that movie but i haven't seen it in years yeah. I, I don't remember much from it at all really so i good. think we'd have to rewatch yeah. that one uh, um, not a movie or documentary about Halt and Catch Fire. That's that counts. We've been watching yeah. it. Yeah, we, and it was recommended to us. Yeah, in the chat. RC, so thank you. It might have been RC seventy or it was someone in the chat, and so we have to continue watching. We, yeah, watching. we we've made it through the first maybe three or four episodes, something like yeah, that. Yeah, almost on the first season. Yeah, 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 and and I'm enjoying it. And then I was reading that it even takes off even did, more. In the did you ever meet seasons. Billy and Walter? No, I don't think I've even seen them in real life. Billy Mitchell, did I ever point no. him out in real life to you? No, we've I only don't think been so. to the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, and they may not have gone to that. Yeah, I think I don't, they live I don't on think the so. other, other coast. side of the uh, yeah, other side of the country. Watch the four decades doc after the last show. Did we watch that? Yeah, decades. I think we did. That documentary. It's yes. Very nice graphics. Um, focused on people yes yes we talked about that yeah yeah it was pretty good it was pretty good yeah. some parts were like a little fluffy but it was good little fluffy yeah. but the parts that they did well they did really well like focused on people i like i like yeah 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 i like uh movies like that uh super boy uh meat boy sequel yeah there is one i can't remember what it's called now it's like super meat boy ultimate or something mm -hmm. maybe it's just more levels mm -hmm. but still uh yeah, I've watched a number of Atari documentaries. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you for following, Mr. Dude Esquire. Yay. Glad you liked the show. <laughs> um, we've watched the one where they dig in the landfill. Is that yes. Atari Game Over? Uh, might, might something be. like that. Yeah, because Atari 2600 uses the E.T. Landfill documentary. It was. It might was, have been Atari Game Over, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah. It was decent. Yeah. Uh, um, it was cool that yeah, Man vs. Snake. Mm -hmm. uh, that was pretty good actually. I really liked that. The one about the nibbler, where he's like zooming through the maze. Oh and yeah. And he has it at his home, and he's like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all he does. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Because um, we're looking for more, so I need ones that I haven't seen. Mm -hmm. um, wasn't there a documentary about Atari specifically, long form view uh, interviews with Nolan, Al Acorn? I think. I may have seen that. I don't know. So nobody has suggested one I haven't seen yet. Mm. Um, and we watched the one recently on Dan Kitchen. Oh, yeah. Which was okay. Not bad. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I uh, gave a lot of insight into into him and his friends and mm. his background and go, goes over like his tons and tons of games he's made. Yeah. Which is amazing how many games he has worked on. Oh, yeah. It's unbelievable. Um, so if you can type, type things, type, type things we need to see awesome movies about video games or computers. Yes. Um, preferably historical ones. Cause I like those that talks about what has happened, how things led to different things. The evolution, the evolution. Of, of the industry and stuff yeah. like that is always really, really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Cause I mean, I watch a lot of YouTube channels that document that all the time. Um, 8 bit guy does some documentaries, little mini documentaries. Um, some Europe, a lot of European uh, computer documentaries because mm. the um, European YouTubers like talking about the history of their computers that they got over there. Very, very cool. Forget decades of development. Mm. I'm sure I've seen that. Mm. Um, so let's get to the games the first one is the last squadron um we did a quick unboxing the other day we're gonna do a full unboxing of it now mm -hmm. um last squadron a new extended version of the abb uc 2020 winner um so there is a, that version online the the unextended one and that you can download and play and this one has more levels um game for 8-bit atari computers and then something in Polish that I cannot read. <laughs> uh, the last... Oh, 
Uh, the Last Squadron is an extended version of the game that won the international competition ABBUC Software Contest 2020. After it was named the Game of the Year, it comes back in a new, more exciting version. Get ready for more enemies, more levels, and three game modes. The Last Squadron was called the best Atari shooter of all time by Retro Borsuk from RetroAgazi.eu. Dear player, the cartridge version you're about holding in your hands requires an 8-bit Atari computer with a minimum of 48k of RAM. Nice. And I was looking through my messages because uh, we were going to do this sh this game. Yeah. And the person who distributes this asked me in f March for the graphics for him winning, for them winning Oh, yeah. the 8-bit um, on Atari Homebrew Awards. Okay. And I did not respond to him. <gasps> Stupid me. So the little logo is not on the box. Oh, I see. I'm very sad. You forgot to you forgot yeah. to email him back. Oh no. Yeah. I oh, missed no. I missed the message. Oh no. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry, and I sent it to him. So if he does another run, maybe he'll get on there. Yeah. Um I'm sure it'll be a very popular game, so maybe they'll run out and do another printing of it you never know never know so we've got a manual lovely we've got a poster and we have got the cartridge and Ooh, look at that green very cool i love green, that kind uh, of a military khaki, khaki military so secor soft on the back nice and we will pop that in in a second we're going to take a look at the poster again quickly because I read it out last time, and I'll do that again. Very nice. It's got English and Polish. Read the English side while you guys look at the Polish side. Are you drinking again? I cannot watch this sober. And they're watching, like, an uh, interview with aliens. Nice. <laughs> a, a TV station, and he's at a bar. Uh, and the bartender says, what do you mean? Aliens are cool. And then it shows a panel of aliens blowing up a military base. It's showing they're not so cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and a siren goes. Just lift it up a little there. Uh, oh, your hands are so warm. Don't touch me again. No, they're like burning hot. <laughs> no, they're so hot. There we go. It says, everything is destroyed, sir. There's our last plane. Mm -hmm. Arg. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Attention, attention. Start the mission. The last squadron. And then two kids are playing. The Last Squadron on a widescreen TV. This game is not widescreen. Um, <laughs> on a massive joystick, which is also seemingly widescreen. <laughs> it's really wide. And he says, you can do it. Lucky you have a new mega stick. <laughs> Excellent. Very cute. Very cute. Very awesome poster. Um, so I'm going to get you playing the game. and I'll start reading out mm -hmm. the instructions, which, I mean, it's shoot everything. Shoot everything. Okay, let's pop this in. Turn off Dig Dug. Take out the ABG cart. Oh, seems to be working now. The camera. Uh, oh, it is. Probably because I turned off the video game system. Now it's probably not going to work. Oh, maybe. Because that's how things go today. <laughs> oh, no. It's on, but not on. So I will have to do some fiddling. Oh, yeah. It, I mean, it's working. But it is working. You guys can't see it. Yet. Oh, no. <laughs> but you will be able to see it in a second. And yes, the camera's going to go crazy. Don't comment on it. <laughs> oh. So you're going to drive me crazy. Pixel wants to know what's up. He's here to play some games. Is he? Some XCGS, oh, are you? There you go. There you oh, go. Oh, no, that's us. Uh, okay. Oh. There we go. It's stuttery. Let's try that again. <laughs> so that took over for the steadier, steady, stuttering cap cam. There we go. Is that better? Sikor Atari is in the chat. Oh, welcome. We're just trying to get our hardware sorted out right now. <laughs> it's stuttery. Is it? Or is it okay? Uh, it's a little stuttery. Uh, 
Yeah. It looks okay to me. Yeah. Is it stuttering? Oh, Pixel's, Pixel's upset. I am. I am too. Come here. Come here. Oh. May have got it. Okay. This has amazing music. Okay. Let's turn down here a little bit. We don't. Oh. Okay, you're in my seat, little cat. Yeah, you're very cute. Here's your joystick. Thank you very much. Luckily, the XEGS nor uses normal one button joystick. <laughs> okay, so give me, is this how every... Most Welcome shooter? early morning from Poland. Wow. I had a problem with the verify code. Well, oh, I'm no. glad you can make it. Okay. It actually looks really good. It does. Look at that. Wow. Okay. So, uh, this was made by uh, Janusz Habowski and Michał Spilowski. Gotcha. From Poland. Nice. Uh, who are Shanty 77 and Miker on Atari Age. Nice. Uh, this was first posted about November 14th, 2020. Uh, is it jumpy? I'm going to have to unplug the cat cam. Oh no. So. No cats. So I think that's what's causing I think you're issue. right because it was causing problems before. Permanently frozen. Excellent. Um, okay, I think that's fixed it. Actually, I can plug the cat cam in somewhere else. So. Okay. Let's do that. Because people like the cats, and so do I. So I'm assuming shoot, move. I don't have to. There's no up and down, right? You just dodge and shoot. Oh, there is up and down. No, I mean, you, you don't land on the ground no, or no. anything. I, I, I get up and down, like. Yes. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Start. Play. Play the game. Press. Okay, normal mode, one player. Yes. So you should just be able to start. Ooh. Very nice. Video is smooth now? Excellent, good. Yeah. Has voice. Prepare for battle. Which is very cool. I'm going to turn it up. A right bit into now. it. Mm hmm. Player one, prepare for battle. Oh, I didn't show all the stuff. We'll show it afterwards. Um, so I will read the instructions. Oh my god, that's I did the exact same thing. Do you not okay. shoot things so close to you. Don't run into things. That's that's the key. Okay. The last squadron. He calmly met, lit a Brazilian oh cigar and slowly prepared for flight. The Earth Air Force Colonel was supposed to show aliens the might of his army. A little tourist trip with the command of aliens. Here's our nuclear silos. Here's the largest airport of the continent. The pride of Earth's aviation. And here's his favorite pub where they serve the best tequila. No, he smiled in his mind. No, he will not show them this treasure. Probably the strangers would like to drink all the supplies. Nowadays, it's a scarce commodity. Yeah, do not run into things. To shoot them and move out of the way. Uh, he cursed in the most perfidious way he could think of. He was thinking about his reasons for hating aliens. After all, all mankind worshipped them. Aliens are technologically ahead of Earthlings. Drones, planes, ah. tanks, giant machines, huge fighters. All of these vehicles are powered by artificial intelligence. Why do you need pilots? And he, a human trained for war, was supposed to be friends with them? Now they want to share this great technology with people. What are their reasons and intentions? He cursed once again. He thought that he would have to take an early retirement. Together, we will colonize other planets of the solar systems, so they said. But first, they will do a reconnaissance of Earth's military bases. The generals gave them the coordinates of the most secret places. In return, they were promised lucrative jobs in the Cosmic Alliance, as they, were, as they referred to the new allied forces. Oh, they're coming, a little ahead of time. I didn't even have time to smoke my favorite cigar. Hmm, squadrons of their fighters cover the entire horizon. How many aliens came to visit? Weird. He threw a cigarette butt on the ground. Then he went to his FAXX. Just in front of the fighters, he stopped. Turned around and looked again into the sky at the very large number of alien machines. He saw their strength. What an entrance. <sighs> Two-click fire start special weapon. There oh, there's a... What? Two button click, 
starts the special weapon. I guess mm. if you have it. You are <laughs> absorbing shots like crazy. Uh, suddenly the soft sound turned to noise. Suddenly something flashed in the horizon and the shockwave hit him like a puppet. Silence. Complete silence. Into the dark. Into the dark. Impenetrable. His senses failed him. Was he dead or just passed out? No. After all, he could feel the rumble of the earth. Its vibrations and shocks. He didn't have time to think about it. He heard the sound of another huge explosion and everything was enveloped in light. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to skip the rest of the story and get to the uh, controls. Uh, the game is uh, started with the start key or the fire button on joystick number one. On the menu screen, the option buttons are normal, arcade, and hardcore. I'm guessing you're on normal. Um, I can't imagine what hardcore is. Oh my goodness. Uh, and the select button switches the number of players and joysticks used by them. And we will play two players soon. As soon as I finish reading. Okay. During the game, holding down the fire button activates shot. Pressing a fire button several times quickly, it starts a special shot. So several times, not just two. Try a bunch. There you go. So it changed weapons. So I guess you can select different weapons. Uh, pressing any button, the, uh, button on the keyboard will pause, and pressing again will return to the game. In the pause mode, pressing start select option interrupts the game and return to the title screen. We have three game modes available, normal, arcade, and hardcore. In ar Arcade Hardcore, enemy projectiles are faster, enemy fires more often, bosses are more difficult, and the number of enemies increases. Uh, these modes loop after passing eight levels. In Normal Mode, we end the game. Additionally, in Hardcore Mode, each hit is fatal for us, so the plane has no shield. Uh, in this mode, you can collect the letters B as bonus. They work as they multiply all points scored 2, 3, 4. Uh, to complete a level, you need to reach the final boss and defeat him. After shooting him down, you are immortal for a while. We can collect various upgrades along the way. Like how it says we. It's a collective uh, thing. Ugh. Right into it. Uh, so, a little, little arrows increase the speed to the plane. And there are three speeds. A shield strengthens the shield by one unit. Initially, we have three shields. Maximum five. So at the top, you can see the three shields. Uh, there's like a cross hatch kind of thing. Increases the speed of the shot, extends the duration of the special shot. Okay. Uh, each of these upgrades also adds one special shot, maximum of three. The number can be seen in the lower left corner. Okay, so you have zero. Uh, feels like 50 sci fi. Mm -hmm. It does. It feels like exactly like 50s sci-fi. Especially with the type of planes they're flying too, right? Maybe in a little bit earlier. Uh -huh. Like it's set it's set just after World War II or something. I mean, what kind of plane is it? Oh, it's a jet. Okay. Ah! Uh, oh. Is that a boss? I might be. Might be. Uh, the letter oh. P increases the power of the shot. Uh, after passing... Uh, the level, the remaining special shots receive a bonus point. Uh, after completing the whole game in normal mode, the remaining lives will get a bonus point, 2,000 for life. After looping the game, the level increases. After death, we lose all upgrades. The lives counter show a maximum nine, but there may be more. The story was written by mm. Retro Borsak. Oh yes, we'll get to all the credits in a second. Do you want me to play? Or are you I'll play go one again? more. Okay. And, uh getting more used to it. <laughs> the live counter show a maximum of nine. Where's the live life counter? Is it in the bottom left? Mm. Oh no, it's at the top with the planes too. Uh, colliding with flying opponents will result in immediate loss of life. Mm. Uh, for every 40,000 points you get an extra life. Okay. Uh, the game is an extended version of the game Last Squadron, which won the main prize in competition, ABBUC Software Contest 2020. So here are the people responsible for this game. Idea, Code, Graphics, Yanish, Yanish and Shanty77. Uh, music, uh, Miker, Title Artwork, uh, Carrion, 
from the C64 scene. Mm. And the title is very nice looking. Uh, title graphics. Additional graphic. Uh, Coyote 1222 from the Amiga scene. Game testing. Retro Borsic. Uh, who wrote the menu? Uh, oh, and the story. Game testing and story. Translation of instructions. Uh, N-O-W-Y H-80 Retro. Uh, the comic book was done by G-A-D-E... G-A-D-E-S, Gaddis, and DTP, I'm not sure what that stands for, Instruction and Publishing, Secor, who is in the chat tonight. Nice. And this is the person who sent the game to me. That's really nice. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for joining us and for answering. Oh, get it. Yay, now you have four shields. So you can get hit four times with, before dying by bullets. No, not by... Not by running into something. No, but by it's bullets. generally that. Yeah, don't run into things. If anything, avoid them and run for a bullet if you have to. Um, oh! So on the back, it looks like it has all the different <sighs> levels, scenery. Oh, you're in space in one of them. Wow. And some crazy looking stuff. I guess you have to fight the aliens. You have to go to space. Oh, get the P. You get bonuses That's if you get power. all the... Oh, if you shoot everyone. So if you get every single... Oh. I don't know if you can get all those. That'd be uh, difficult. With the, oh, you need the power-ups. You need the power-ups, I find. Oh, and you use them one because up. Because they... they uh, you use... Um, you ran right into their... Oh, yeah, I was talking to you and not yeah. paying attention, unfortunately, but yeah. It's really cool! Secor says, Thank you, James. Sorry for my English, but it is in my native language, and sometimes I have a lack of words. Oh. I, I love, love, love people when they apologize for their English because mm -hmm. their English is almost always flawless mm -hmm. and like surpasses Native Ameri Native English speakers yeah. in North America. <laughs> it's just so, so funny. You, you speak, you at least type perfectly, yeah. perfectly fine. <laughs> Tanya, destroy bases for upgrade special weapons. Okay, my turn. All right. Or we can play two players. Oh, you, you play around okay. and we'll play two. Oh, the cat is actually keeping the XCGS swarm. Oh, you can't see him, of course. Oh, because I switched it. I'll be able to get him back. Yeah. I think it might be working now. Maybe. Pixel apparently has picked his favorite Atari system. There we go. Look at that. He loves oh, the XCGS. Oh, he's a, he's a Atari cat. See? He loves it. He loves the keyboard. He's, <laughs> he's ready to press pause whenever yeah. we want. Yeah. Okay. Great graphics as well. Don't know what the garbage is down the left and the right hand mm. side. I've been playing around and on some games it uh, it has that. So you start with two. Two um, special power-ups, I guess. It says two mm. in the board, bottom corner. Let me know if it's uh, skipping or anything weird. Oh, Ooh. Oh, that's another power-up. already power gotten up. more than I have. <laughs> you have to double double click it. You're getting a lot more. You you love vertical shooters. Though. Oh he, my god. He's Any an kind expert. Of expert. Uh, no. More so than I am, though. Not expert. Oh, you're I pretty like expert. Them, and I'm okay at them. Looks super smooth. Yeah. Excellent. Good. It's pretty smooth. That's good. The cat cam didn't wreck it. Oof. So these bases with the numbers Yeah, give they you, give you power-ups. Which is nice. Nice, need all yeah. The, you got shields. You need all the shields I can get. Or whatever those are. Power-ups? Uh, shields. Are they? Yeah. They're at the top. Uh, you get the shields. See at the top, the little shields? Yeah. Have so you used your power-up yet? No. I'm going to save oh. it for the boss. Mm. If that is the boss. I. It's certainly hard to kill and it follows you, so it might be a boss or a... Yeah, you need Demi your, boss. You need your power up for Demi God. For sure to shoot those guys. Oh, already hit me. That sped me up. Oh, did it? Yeah, which is very nice. Because you start off a little slow, but that's normal for shooters. Double up, double up. What are you doing? There you go. Oh. And he ran away, so he's not really a boss. Demi boss. 
Just a mid boss. Just a mid tiny boss. boss. Ooh, got double shots now. Oh, for normal. yeah, look at that. Oh, damn, I missed it. Oh, there's always some Fruit Loop donuts flying <laughs> in the air. Yep. These uh, older oh, era nice. uh, shooter games. Points! I, like I want power ups! <laughs> <laughs> Do you like their fruit, fruit Loops? Oh, one got away. Oh, he came back. Good. Come here! Oh, damn it. Lots of Fruit Loops in games. Oh, we'll get this pack. 200 points! <laughs> oh, empty space! That means boss. No, not yet. <laughs> And this is why we invite James to the stream. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so I can get to the boss. <laughs> James is just like, and this is how you play it. <laughs> well, this is uneasy, so. Oh, did I get hit? No, I'm still at five. Oh, Thanks. we did get a photo of someone playing one of my favorite arcade games. Oh, yes. Uh, it was S. Ramirez. Yes. Ooh, this looks like... The full boss. Uh, yeah, he's shooting out mini, mini dudes. I bet he's the boss. Well, maybe not. <gasps> Damn it. No. How far back? Oh, Probably not too far back. Not too far back, but I lose all my weapons. Do you? You have some. Well, you have only one. Oh. <gasps> ah, from behind. Jesus, really? Damn it! I was super nice powered up and then... Well, that's when you do die, is on boss. Yeah, that's probably when you die. Oh, get it, 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 yeah! That's uh, speed up. So. That's better than nothing. Need everything you can get. Ah, dodge! Dodge, ah! That does help a lot. It does a lot more oh, damage. Oh, yeah. I should not be so close. Oh, my God. And there's, like, stuff on the ground, too. No, it's very, very unfair. <laughs> oh, you almost got him. Yeah! Is that the boss? Yes. Yeah! Level complete. Use special shots. Yes, I'm the boss. I was saving it for yeah. that. Yeah, Charles. Uh, cheers, Charles. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, Charles. Oh, Awfully hot. Oh, I got yeah. a power up. Yay! Good, good job. Still can't shoot any of those things on the ground. Those X's. Oh, things come from behind. It's so mean. Damn it. This is a what the hell? This is a little bit harder. Oh my god. Is it a little bit harder? <laughs> it's a lot harder. Oh, I'm out of lives. That's so Are you? Oh no. Maybe um, there'll be a special power up, huh? Duh. Oh my god. Oh, just random bricks you can destroy. Oh, oh. At least I got all my. Shield back. Free loops! Get those free, free loops! loops. Eh, yeah. too many of them. Not enough power. Whoa. That's close. If anybody. Is... Nice, only seven levels more. <laughs> is that it? Oh, I'm almost there. Uh, nice. I'm not even close to a free life. Captain Classic, that is the hardest part of shooters in the arcade and home. After dying, you are back to underpowered. I like the way Raiden handled it. You could pick up some of your power-ups after yes. you die. Yes. Or maybe it was only after you lost all the planes. But yeah, it's... it's. Ah. Ooh, get it. Nice. No. Better weapon. Now I can actually get better, better weapons because I have a better weapon. It's funny how it like just exponentially makes it easier. <laughs> oh, 
on some games you don't want to get faster and faster and faster. Um, I think I'm at my limit of how fast I want to move around. Because it gets a little out of control after a while. If you go too fast and too speedy. Oh, mid-boss. Oh, mid-boss. <laughs> or demi-boss. Demi-boss. I had a laptop mishap. Oh, in the yeah. last couple of days. Ugh. Oh, so I have I have one laptop. Damn it. That we are actually using right now, but um, it's my laptop. <laughs> Even though James steals it all the time. Oh, really? Uh, it... Oh. Uh. Are we gonna play two player? Yes. Anyway, uh, we've had but a bunch of issues. It's a Dell XPS 15, and a bunch of issues with the charger which we've replaced the charging cable, I guess. We've replaced... Twice. Three times, I think. Really? No, twice. Yeah, twice. I've had three. And now, the little... What would you call it? The port? The charging plug? Oh, On the it? laptop, the little plastic things? guide, and it broke off into my charge... The, the charging cable. I had to pull it out. And so the actual, what would what, you call that? The charging, um, the charging port, I guess. Charging port on the laptop. Is completely the broken. Side. So now I'm going to have to pull it apart and replace the charging port. Yeah, so we had to buy in, a in new laptop. internal charging in, port. Internal charging port. And we also bought a uh, USB-C charger. So it plugs into the USB-C port. Luckily, this computer and can charge through its USB-C. Through its USB-C port. Okay. Let's yeah, we can play. Get it going. Uh, Press the button. So is it simultaneous? Because it says two players, one joystick, and then it said two players, two joystick. And I'm guessing oh. it is one at a time. It might be. Yeah, it is. Okay. That's fine. So we'll trade off. This is the first 800 ZPH show, right? <laughs> other than the ZPH shows. Uh, no, I <laughs> believe we did a, we did an 8-bit night. Did we? One other before, I believe. One other 8-bit night. Um, so this Not is probably XCGS, the second one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it? Was it? Oh, no. No, I don't think so. I don't I think you've pulled think this out. we did it through emulation last yes. time. So this is actually the first one. Yeah. You are correct. With the actual hardware. Yeah. And I will be getting this hardware upgraded so we can do more. So, because I I really like the system. I, I mean, I love the Commodore 64. And this is the same exact era. The same level of types of games. Um... And, you know, a lot of the f games that I played are on this system, too. Um, so I am looking forward to do more of them. Because there is a, a vibrant 8-bit uh, community. 8-bit homebrew community. Yeah. yeah. And we do the uh, awards for the 8-bit yes, uh, yeah. homebrew as well. So we'll be able to show more of those off. We will. So people will be more familiar with them that watch the show by the nice. time the awards come around. And I will be too, because last time I was like, I, I don't know. I don't know any of these. That was terrible. It's okay. That's the problem when you're chatting and... Tomatoes Adventure is great. It's your turn. Pay attention. Um, I believe I have looked at Tomatoes Adventure. Yeah, I'll be taking suggestions. Oh, my God. Oh, that was the third thing on the screen. It's, the, it's exactly what I did last time, because you think that you can shoot them, but oh, you no. can't. Not with the pea shooter. I know. No, no, no. Oh, it's so bad. You just avoid them, really. Pretty. Oh. <laughs> We're having a great round. Anyway, what I wanted to say with my laptop, I had just bought a brand new Steam game, so I was very, very upset when I couldn't yes, play it. Yes, that's true. I like literally just bought it, and then oh my <laughs> god, and then and then I couldn't my seven hundred points. That's brutal. <laughs> uh, and I couldn't charge my laptop anymore, and I couldn't play. It, so it's just par for the course really mm. anyway we figured out you can charge it through the USB-C port which is so awesome a really nice alternative especially when your uh, power port completely fails on you we're so. traveling it's a much smaller charger <laughs> it is yeah you're right there's no brick as long as you're not doing anything hardcore on yeah. it um, you can just use that yeah, it's got a decent battery on it it's okay it's, it, it, you know, it'll work for a few hours it's fine yeah uh, just 
No. Buy no. a cassette uh, recorder. <laughs> uh, no. No, thanks. Uh. Or a disk drive. I have an emulator, emulated disk drive with the, uh, with the cartridge there, so I don't think... Yeah. Charles Rue says, James, now you can program in BASIC like we did years ago. <laughs> I could. <laughs> I'd rather I'd, I'd rather program in assembly for the 2600 first. Unbibium, I just got the Commodore 64 kernel in BASIC running on my Atari 800XL. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, can you say that again? She, he got the uh, Commodore 64? I just got the Commodore 64 kernel and basic running on my Atari 800 XL. Wow. It probably played that is basic cool. okay? I, yeah. There's no way it can play uh, C64 games, mm. can it? They're it be... basically the same computer. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, they, they both use the 6502. So, what? Does that work? That's weird. How does that work? I'll have to look that up. That's yeah. very strange. Never heard of that. There's no color or a disc access or tape access. Hmm. But well, I guess you can just program basic. Yeah. Because <laughs> if you have no way to load things. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to play one player. It's too distracting. Yeah. To swap back and forth. Well, I'm going to refresh my drink really quickly because I'm sweating. Look at this cat. This cat is in love. In love with the XCGS. Yes, you are. I'm going to bring the treats down, too. You get treats oh. that ah! they like? Of course you did. And Petsky. Okay, yeah. That would be cool to play. Pretty much just basic. And cartridges? I guess you can't load anything off cartridges. Unless you somehow gave it... Does it have cartridge access? Because then, then you could possibly load something off the cartridge if it was able to read the cartridge for it. Oh, I took that bullet. Ridiculous. This is an amazing game. And obviously, loads of room for improvement since I only got to level 2. But I did pretty good on that first run, actually. It's amazing. Made it all the way to the boss without dying, and all I needed to do was kind of power up a bit more. And then I would have done a little bit better. I would like the weapon upgrade, though. So you can barely kill things on the screen without it. And if there's a bunch of them, you're not killing all of them. Ah! Ah! Oh, just took a hit. I do like the armor aspect of this, where you can take multiple hits from the bullets, but not hits from... You distracted me. I blame you. Me? Yep. 100%. I don't deserve that distraction. Well, I'm going to distract you more. Who wants some treats? The Meowie Cat. Yeah, and you did distract me. No I.O. whatsoever. So that's pretty cool, though, that it can run... You going to hit the button? C64 right basic. How compatible is it? Can you like give it like SYS commands and pokes and peaks, or is it just really just actual basic? Oh my god. Like in the wrong spot on the <laughs> screen there. There's one right at right by your foot. Atari. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are so bad. There, here. Thanks, Charles. I wasn't feeling guilty until you mentioned that, that he said he refreshed his as well, so don't feel guilty. <laughs> oh, his drink? Yes. Oh. oh my god, what a terrible run. Okay, we're going to give it one more run. And then move on to the other game. Move on? No, I want another turn. Okay, sorry. <laughs> no ball. In the Atari 8 bit? No okay. ball. Good kid. No ball. What does that mean? <laughs> no ball in, in the programming, I'm assuming. No ball. Isn't there a ball and a play field and a Oh in on the on the twenty six hundred. That's a totally different beast. Yeah, but no ball in the 8 bit. No. no. 
age? No? I, I, Is that what he's referring to? Oh, just getting slaughtered. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm guessing. I can't imagine he's referring to any other ball. <laughs> just four players and four missiles. Four players and four missiles in the Okay, I am going to blame the heat on this. Are we back? Yeah, yeah well, we're back. Are People we back? Can be. you all see us? Well, if the cat wasn't in the way. Cat, come looking for treats. Oh, he's a treat looker now. Cat, cat. sabotage. Correct. Definitely cat sabotage. Correct. The computer just Sorry? like... Sorry? Did you do that? Did you do that? He said, yeah, you didn't give yeah. me more treats. If you gave me treats, I wouldn't crash the computer. Yeah. The computer. Are you hot? I'm hot. It's really warm. It's 27 There's degrees in here. sweat dripping down my back. Oh, no. Just so hot in here. Oh. And then the lights are on us. Oh. And the it game's stressful. The game's... No. No, no, no. game is lovely. The game is so awesome. It is so good. I, I knew... I mean, I already knew that I liked it because of the demo that yes. you could play. So I was like, yeah, as soon as I saw that it was for sale on cartridge, um, I snapped it up <laughs> immediately. <laughs> um, so I got the, there's three different versions. There's the basic version, the normal version, and the deluxe, deluxe version. It's probably different names for it, but um, mm. and I got the normal version, which gave me the hat. It's up above. There's a hat? You want to get the hat? Where's the hat? It's up above somewhere. Oh. Or it's on the printer. Oh, I just missed it. Damn it. Oh, I like this hat. Yeah? Yeah. It says the last squadron on it. It does, in gold. Damn it! I sh knew I shouldn't have been there. Oh. Cats love Ataris. They do. Especially our cats. Mm -hmm. Let's start from, from the beginning. Very nice hat. It is. It's too hot to wear right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's very hot. Yeah, very good. Oh my goodness. Oof. It is warm. Oh, come on. <laughs> I love the I love the the opening screen and the, the speech. square transition. The speech, yeah. Stay over here. Too dangerous in the middle there. Ugh, oh, just gonna hit. I don't know how I did so well the first time. Oh, you kicked butt the first time. Just somehow did not get in the way of all those patterns. Mm. Oh, I just got hit again. Mm. Gotta keep that. I think I was just avoiding bullets, and I wasn't trying to get so well, much Well, sometimes going. that's actually... Damn it! Damn it! Get hit again? Twice in a row there. Ah! And my last shield. And my last king. Okay. I want another turn. Secor is the distributor of this game. He put it all together. Well, it classifies him as uh, DTP. Not sure what that is. Maybe you can explain that. Uh... And he put together the instructions, I'm guessing, and publishing. He pub he's the publisher. Mm. Um, and it's distributed through Seekorsoft. Right there, Seekorsoft. Almost no flickering. At least oh. on transmission. No, there's no flickering. Why do I keep running into those? I, I have to any. just dodge them. I haven't seen any flickering, actually. Yeah, dodge them. Just get a couple shots in, but mostly dodge. Back in the day, I wanted to get an Atari 800, but a Commodore 64 instead, because all my friends had one. Yeah, I didn't know anyone with an Atari. Actually, I think I knew one person. Um, but I wasn't friends with them. I was... It was their brother who had it. Um... And I had a Commodore 64, and all my friends had Commodore 64s. So it just makes sense that you get it, so you can, you know, trade games and things like that. Uh, 
please try arcade mode. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh, what we have yeah, to do. Yeah. I always forget to do that. Try the hard modes. Because it's like, well, this is hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I always go, uh, maybe not. Title screen was made by Carrion, famous 64, C64 artist. Sub graphics were made by Coyote, Amiga artist. Rest graphics was made by Shanty77. Oh, you powered up, eh? Sometimes. Sometimes it's not a terrible idea to power up. Yeah, because you get... Oh, you just took a bunch of hits there. Did I? Yeah. I would stay up from the bottom of the screen just a little bit. Oh, I took a hit there, Because too. of things coming in from behind. I know. You have a little I know. bit of reaction I know time. what you mean. Because I... It's just dangerous. Yeah, you can move faster. Yay. Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Where did, like, where did that come from? I don't know. Got two more shields left. Ah! He had no room to kill that. <sighs> Stupid bee shooter. Oh no! Right to the body. Got nothing. 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 Yep. Nothing at all. Oh. This is okay, not gonna go now well. it's time to play arcade mode. Okay, whew. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, yeah, we didn't quit. Put my name in. No! What are you... What are you? T-O-B. T-O-B. Tob. Tob. A joke. Tob. The last squad. Mm -hmm. Okay. Arcade, hardcore. What we'll do arcade first and then hardcore. Because I won't last long. <laughs> Even the end screen is yeah. beautiful. Everything, everything yep. is beautiful. Paperclip. That's what I did my homework on too. Paper clip. Adopt make sure sprinter and paperclip. It was good. Oh my god, there's like different creatures oh, oh my wow. god oh, oh my god oh boy <laughs> what the hell jeez what if, did I, I... if i couldn't kill things before how can i kill these things look barely put all my bullets on it and i barely killed it before it went off the screen oh my <gasps> god what are those instruments what? of torture oh my god Great explosions. Wow. It looks like it, like when you kill something, it like does double <gasps> resolution. Yeah. And quad resolution on those things that block the screen. Oh my god. Yeah, you have to be a expert. Oh <gasps> my god. Gotta dodge it's him. full. The screen is full. Dodge him. Uh -huh, definitely didn't win any awards there. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, probably has a different yeah arcade mode. Doesn't matter. There's all the programmers. Yeah. And creators. Okay. Pray for death. Hardcore. Oh my goodness. This should be interesting. So does it just start at a higher level? Uh. Because no, that looks like I a completely different. Out. Oh no. This is this is. Same. So arcade mode. Oh no. It's the same as the uh, arcade. One shot kills you. Oh boy. Can you read what Vitoko wrote? Uh, I'm preparing a 5200 version of the game with two characters and probably all the original Pitman and Cat Trap Pit Cat puzzles. I'll probably upload the video after that. I don't want to spoil. Oh, very cool. Very cool. So, yeah, you die great. with one hit. <gasps> one bullet hit. Oh, yeah. That is... Ah! <laughs> wow. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Yep. Oh, Super Meat Boy guy. The Last Squadron. Nice. Yeah, look at that great title screen. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> that was quick. Evil difficulty. Yeah. yeah, like, you have to be a super, super expert. Um, oh, there's all the, mm -hmm. all the programmers. Best five pilots. Uh, did you want to do one more, or are you good? You're perfect. One more. 
I'll play arcade level. Oh, I won't good. last very far. I just think it's a cool looking level, so. There you go. And I will get Flob ready. Get her ready. I love, I love the, um, what do you call them, uh, the comic, uh, comic type artwork? Yeah. Ah! Don't bother trying to shoot them. Ah! You won't have time. Ah! Oh my god. Just avoid. Avoid. Ah, oh, they come for they you. They come for you. Oh my goodness. So you have to make sure there's room enough to get around them. Oh. So you have to kind of lead them and then go around them. Oh yeah, they hone in on you. Oh, they're so evil. You're actually doing a bit better than I am. No. <laughs> no, this is stressful. Whoa. Stressful. It's like an exploding mine there. So stressful. How am like, I not dead? There's like How? No, no time to How even am I get not bonuses. Dead? I don't understand. No, you did better than me. Oh, don't understand. How am I not dead? You're almost one more hit. Oh, I can't oh. move away fast enough. Those guys, <laughs> they go right for you. You're still going. Special You're weapons dying. are the best. Oh my goodness. Oh, ha, 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 that's ah, how you get them. Special yeah, you're going to run out of special weapons, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho, yeah. Oh, so short. Ah! Whatever that is, I need it. Ah! <laughs> I'm just continually just getting shot. bullets. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You still have another power-up. Use no. it before you die. Ah! Oh. <laughs> wow. Great, great, great <laughs> game. Yeah. Really like good. Shooters, that's really the one. good. That is the one. Thank you, uh, Sikor Atari. Thank you so much. Oh, such a good game. Good for a, a sweltering Canadian day. <laughs> it's hot. It is it's hot. It's supposed to cool down in a couple days, thankfully. Yes. And rain, maybe, even. That would be amazing. Mm hmm. And of course, it's not going on the screen. Oh no! No oh, pixels know what back. Is doing it. Hi, sir. Whether oh, are you gonna cuddle up? It's the encoder, or it's the output. I just, I just don't know. Oh, hi, cat. Oh, we're frozen. They can still hear us. Oh, so we're not completely frozen then. We are. No, but they can hear us. They can hear us. Yeah, so that we're still streaming. Oh, no. So many troubles. Pixel, did you do this? Did you do this, Pixel Cat? I bet he did. Oh, blame the kitties. It's a bad kitty. Oh. <laughs> I can hear Pixel nice new audio system. Yes. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> oh. At least one thing's upgraded. Oh. Uh, any day I should be getting my new system to replace the Frame Meister. And hopefully that will help. We'll see. I don't know what's actually doing it. Okay, there we go. Hi. Finally. Are you fluffing up the computer system? Meow. 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 It's time to play Flob. Yay! Are you gonna go chase some uh, pink uh, slime, Pixel? So, let's see. Here is Flob. I'll give you the joystick. Mm. Homebrew. Not war. Flob. So, let me go to my notes. Kitty. Hi. Oh, you're, you, you know your name is Kitty. So this is uh, a 2021 game. Very cute. It Intro is. screen. Press start to play. Select for achievement. Help for credits. Okay. Flaw. A game by Tristessi Game Studio. Game ID and code. Bokaniyu. Sound director. Lisu. Doing this wrong. Game <laughs> Probably. Theme and end game music. <laughs> Lisu. Intro music. Gone. <laughs> game graphics and sound effects, Bocano, hardware Bocciano. design, uh, Bocciano, I MQ, think. game 
testing reviews and Q daily blah, 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 Christy Koala extreme testing and fine tuning ZBYTI translation of FI compiled with Matt <laughs> Pascal by Tebby Raster sound effects 2021 TGS in stereo where nice. available we are broadcasting in stereo excellent actually no I and it don't, just turned it's purple. It's not in stereo. Why did it just turn purple? Or is that intentional? Might be. Okay. <laughs> um, so this was first posted July 10th, 2021. Mm -hmm. This build is from July 21st, 2021. This is version 1.02. You can download this exact version from their website. Mm. Um, Flob is a platform action adventure game written in Mad Pascal for 8-bit Atari computer. Um, so you can start it. Select world, escape from the lab. Best time, best score zero. Slimes, zero to 109. The other ones are not, uh, they're all locked. So this is the only one. Gotcha. You can... Your name is Flob. It... Oh no. Skip can the I story. Can I restart it? Yeah, no, I didn't, uh, didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, we'll read the story next time we play. No, I can die or. Yeah. So, yeah, the basic controls are left, right, and button, and button flips the screen, so you can find different paths. Cute. And you have to get all those pink, pink friends. And don't land on spiky things. The like yellow the thing on the spiky right. thing? Yeah. Hmm. Uh, in this game, you need to travel through hundreds of locations to find hidden slime ingredients and formula hidden by your creator, Dr. Torf. Using slime, you can manipulate the gravity and turn the world upside down. Nice. And you can move while it flips. So you can move oh. left and right. Um, Flob cannot jump, so it can be the only way to get to higher places. But when you will get the formula ingredients, you can become immortal, being, and rule the world. So I've got the instructions printed out here. Reminds me of Out of This World or Flashback. Yeah, the graphics do, definitely. It seems to be where this tasty pink, pink slime is made. Oh, there's a kitty up there. Upside down the kitty? Ki upside down kitty. Now he's right side up. Mm. So Flob. Your name is Flob. You were born as a result of an experiment in Dr. Sven Torf's underground laboratory. You evolved from a suspicious pink substance called slime. And you need regular doses of it to survive. Don't touch that thing. <gasps> oh, you got burned by it the light bulb. It was pink. I thought it was only yellow stuff. No, it's a no. lot of things. How do I do that? Oh. You can move. Oh, yeah. They're go right and then left. Oh. Uh, you are able to use it for other purposes. Oh, however, there's an excess of slime, and you're able to use it for other purposes. You can respawn after accidents and manipulate gravity, turning the world upside down. This extraordinary destructive power frightened your creator. As soon as Dr. Torf realized how powerful you could become, he hid the four secret ingredients of the slime, as well as its for formula, in various inaccessible parts of the world. Uh, without access to the slime, your days are numbered. Hmm. Or you can move when you uh, flip it. Hmm. You can control the falling direction. That's a better way of saying it, Fotoku, yes. There you go. You got it. Ah! And smash. But you got it now, so... Uh, without the access to the days, your you're, uh, without access to the slime, your days are numbered. So you set off in pursuit of Doctor Torf. Your only clues on your journey will be the map you found in the lab and the drops of slime he left behind. Uh, once you have the recipe for produ producing slime, nothing will be able to stand in your way. The world will be yours if there's anything left of it. Mm -hmm. You sound like the evil guy. <laughs> Once you have the uh, manipulate gravity to reach many hidden areas, 
Look for clues and don't be fooled by the traps and false leads left by Dr. Torf. There will be many obstacles in your way, but, we're, but the reward for reaching your goal is immortality and eternal control over gravity. Your supply of slime is running low and time is running out, so don't waste it on reading. Controls during the game. Joystick, left, right, or our arrow keys, left, right. Uh, hero, movement, fire, or shift. Flip the world. Escape, hold to die and start again. Oh, okay, could do escape. Hold the second time to squit, quit the game. Option, disable, enable music. I oh, like music's cute. Thank you for purchasing our game. Well, we didn't yet. Um, but this game is available for purchase, and I believe this is the full game. You can download the full game. You have to watch for patterns. I can't really see patterns, actually. No. There you go. So just one on there. Oh no, there's another one. We did it! <gasps> did I escape? Uh, well, you made it there. <gasps> oh! Oops. Spidey web. Oh, there's a telephone. Might have to phone someone. I don't know. Yep, you did. You do have to phone someone. <gasps> Level two? Oh, no, no. Oh, it, it opened it a gate. Opens. Oh, nice. Ugh. Not sure if I care for the flip gravity graphical translation. Would improve playability to not blank flip the screen and instead just flip the way you fall. You don't need the other indicator other than that. Your guy is going the other way. Do you mean like don't actually flip the screen, just flip the gravity and not flip the screen. I mean, I, I find it okay. I mean, it does technically blank the screen because it goes down to nothing and then comes back. What other way could you do it? It's about the best way I can think of in terms of flipping. Well, is that what opened up? Mm -hmm. ah. Left to the observatory. Escape from the lab. Oh, observatory. Nice. This is Ooh, super cute. So cool looking. I guess you have to go in that brown thing. Oh, yep. Oh. Oh, Big Dipper. Oh. Okay. You get to see the Big Dipper. Maybe you have to go into the pink telescope? No, because I think that kills you. Does it? The last big thing I hit killed me. Was there another exit that opened up? There is left and down there. Left and... Are you going for it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. death. No, I think anything that's not... Because there was a key. Hmm. It might be loom. It might loom cooler, look cooler, but it makes it harder to control your fall. Yeah, because there is a slight delay when it flips, so you have to time it right. No. Oh, it came from there. And that's a dead end. So maybe something opened up here. Is that a door you can go through? Maybe. Oh, there we go. No, yeah, there's definitely stuff I haven't seen. Oh. You can squeeze through the narrow gaps, just saying. I don't mind the flip. I don't mind the flip. I yeah. quite like it, actually. Oh, you're so close to that. <gasps> oh! Oh my can't god. Can't go that way. <laughs> oh, can you go through that grate? Or uh, no? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, you can. You can fit through the grate. But it's yellow. Mm. It's so ambiguous. What kills you on dozens? A little bit, but I kind of like that. I mean... It'd be better if everything was color coded. Like, everything yellow kills you. Because you just went through a yellow yeah, thing. Yeah, anything bright kills you, I mean. Yeah. I was expecting the grate to kill you. It was orange. Uh, it is a little bit different color, I guess, yeah. Or it was orange, and now it's not orange. And there's a tiny little yep. escape thing there. Oh no, can I get back? Yep, flip and press to the right. But not immediately. Or just get really close. I think you'll get it there. Nope. Oh, almost. I would flip and I wouldn't press to the right anymore. It's too close. Oh, oh no. It's okay. Maybe you can only go get to it once. Orange with artifacting. Oh, funny. 
You have to fall through it? How did it work before? You were going through it. I did go through it. Maybe squish left. Careful. Left and right, kind of wiggle your way down. There you mm. go. I don't... Squish. Oh, what is that? A mouse? Filthy rats, they're afraid of loud noises. Mmm. So you can't go there yet. I have to make a loud would kill noise. You. Okay. Can I go this way yet? No. I don't think mm -hmm. so. Ah, oh, there you go. I'm interesting. I would press some buttons. <laughs> Gives you nice hints. Sorry, I can't. Very cute. Very cute. Platformer with a little bit of puzzly. Yeah. A puzzle platformer. Uh oh. Does that look like something you have to do? It kind of does. Oh. Nope. That kills you. Okay. Oh yeah, because in this in this screen the um. Where's the buttons you have to press? Can you go on that thing there? This what? thing. That's what I was thinking. Oh, there we go. Oh, turns off the radiation. Oh, thing. you have to slide okay. it. Ah. That's where the buttons are. The best game in flip ga gravity genre might be Metal Storm for the NES. Great running gun shooter with a flip gravity mechanic. This game? Metal Storm? <laughs> it's sealed. I have to open it up. Um. This is an at, this is a reissue by Retrobit of Metal Storm. I have never played Metal Storm, but I know it looks super super awesome. And it has the same mechanics. There've been a, a, a number of oh, is that a cart that moves? Yeah, I think you have to get in that cart. I would well, flip I first. I think those things kill you. Oh yeah, oh yeah, they would. Whoa, that was close. You can slip through the thin lines, just be warned. Oh, it's another pinky pinky dude down in the middle. The thin oh, lines? The line you're on right now. Oh, that's underwear, that's what it is, hanging on a line. Maybe you have to flip and fall on it to fall through it. Maybe you have to move back and forth to fall. Whoa, careful. Oh, he does go all the way down. Ooh, move out of the way, Can move out of the way, move out of the way! I didn't know he was going right for me. Sorry, a, I was reading the bottom. Can oh. you smell the cats in the alley? And I'm like, oh. Oh, can you? If Mr. Gimmick and Kirby had a baby. Yeah, Mr. Gimmick is so hard, though. Oh, my God. I can get nowhere on Mr. Gimmick. It's so hard. Nutty says he's getting a full-time job soon. Your Yay! first one. Yay! That's Good awesome. Job. Ooh, what is this? It's hard to tell sometimes Ooh. upside down. Or is this the right Will side that up? Kill me? That looks like it would kill me. Ye yep. yep. And so... I didn't get it. So, can you flip back and forth real quick? Oh, that would be challenging. No. No. No, you cannot. It's well, you probably... got it. Yeah. Do you have to sacrifice do you a just, life? Do you just sacrifice points when that happens? Oh, maybe, because you haven't died yet. I have to ring a bell. The ratty hates loud noises. Oh! Oh! Oh, a fire extinguisher? No? Interesting. So much backtracking. All right. Oh. It's the only thing I don't like about some games. As long as it's an easy path. Like, that's easy. They're and... pretty straight paths. I would oh, say. yeah, I guess this is easy too. It's just when you're trying to get things, that's when it's not easy. Careful! Ah! Uh, I assume so you just careful. you just lose points. I'll have to watch next time. Just go right over. Right no. over. Why are you landing on the garbage lid? Because that's the only point you can uh, no, 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 no. fall through. Oh, just go all gone. the way along the bottom. You can't. You yeah, fall go, through all there. The way, all the way there. Now fall through. You can't. Oh. That's what I was trying to tell you. We'll go... Oh yeah, flip. And then, then when it flips, go far to the right. Don't just fall. 
Woof. Oh my god. Like you're 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 yelling at me and I'm like you can't <laughs> fall through there. I tried that before. Uh you don't need to collect all the slime. Some of that you can collect later. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh, the rat's gone. I was scared. Oh. He was scared. Scared by the noise, I guess. Me neither. Nobody blames you, Mr. Gimmick. And it has this special impossible alternate ending. You have found the map. Time to leave and find four ingredients. Oh! oh. You have to get that. Yeah, Go to I the door assume. first. Hyperbole. Hmm. Oh yeah, your has your score gone down? Oh, your score is going down. Because you because oh. of the time, I guess. Oh my god, it goes down fast. So you have to get the little. I tried. When I was demoing it to get through there, you can't. You die. Really? Yeah. At all? You're too tall, and you hit it. Oh, at, oh, I see. To the rope. Oh. Nice to see an Atari game with smooth contours. That is true. Hmm. Collect it later. Does it? Uh, does it have elements of Metrovania or Blaster Master where? Uh, getting new abilities opens up new areas. The same map, you just need to backtrack. I found an idea for a Nintendo Cinematic Universe. Phase 1. <laughs> Every flip gets 5 points from your score or timer. Oh my god, so the flips do it. Oh my god, really? Oh, and I can't go through there. Okay. okay. Back at the That's beginning. Where you start? It is. Oh. What's that thing? Is that have buttons? Uh, no, it doesn't do oh. anything. Hmm. Losing all my score here. Get low. Oh. Yep. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, that's no. fine. 59 out of 109. That's pretty good. Pretty cute. Pretty cute. Love it. Score of zero. Jo I guess your score is always... Oh, this is almost off. Zero, because... Unless you get all of them. Yeah. Or escape the lab. So there's escape from the lab. Abominable, Abominable sewers. sewers. Suburban parkour. Mm. Oh, my God. I bet you have to flip, move, and flip, and flip. Mm -hmm. Hazardous mudlands. Silver dust mines. Mm. Return to the lab. Oh my god. There is plenty to play. That is awesome. Are you going to do the same level? The, the other ones are locked. Oh, we only have one. Okay. It came from a tiny drop of slime invented by Dr. Sventorf defenseless and vulnerable. You die within minutes without regular doses of slime. Hmm. But things aren't what they seem. Art as it, they seem. You can turn excess slime into a huge gravitational wave which turns the world upside down. Which, uh, verbatim. I bet everybody outside was pretty upset when you turned it upside down. When Dr. Toff realized your power, he decided to hide the slime for you while its secret ingredients in four remote spots around the world. Your only clues about the whereabouts of the ingredients are drops of slime left by Dr. Torf. Mm. Uh, collect them all to regenerate. Oh, find all the secret ingredients and the slime formula. Become immortal. Rule the world. I got more than half the available bits of slime. That is pretty good. Okay. So you, you really do want to move, like... Yeah. As quickly as you can. I was I was very leisurely playing this game. So. Yeah. Well, now that I've seen you do it, I can. It's be not a bit so hard. Faster. Yeah. Did you press that. I don't nope. think so. Get the kitty. Get the kitty. Meow. Oh, what? <laughs> what did I do? What did I land on? The, the yellow. The beaker? You can't touch any of the yellow, so if you accidentally... Uh-oh. Touch That's the yellow. This way. Yeah. Watch that guy That's comes timed. right to the bottom. It's timed, so you... Uh, and that pink thing will kill you on the top. So I should go like this. Yeah. Do that. That's what I did, yeah. yeah. Everything is so good about this game. Oh, it's so cute. Super, super cute. Great concept about the having to keep getting slime mm -hmm. to keep you going yeah the 
This one's pretty tricky, isn't it? Well, you just have to not get killed. <laughs> That's the secret. Don't get killed. <gasps> yeah. Those and are very reset. tricky. They're very tricky. Sometimes it's easier to get killed than not. Yeah. It'll probably save you time. Oh no! Shouldn't have gone all the yeah, way. You can't hit that yellow. Can't go through that up there? Yet? Not yet. No. no. So I shouldn't have even gone here yet. Uh, yeah, you can go down or to the side. So have you gone down yet? Uh, no. No. There you go. Oh, yeah. That's where I came from. So I have to go to the okay. side. Is there two on each one? Uh, I, I just, just wait oh, until... Oh, Damn it. You have to flip. <laughs> yeah, I just wait until there's kind of a two-go. Oh, my Yeah. God. I wait until there's like a brief gap. Yeah. There's a pause, and that usually seems to be pretty safe. It takes a while for them to come back again. Yeah, it does. There you go. Ring the bell. And then there. Mm. So has anybody seen any movies lately? We did. We watched Pig. Yes, Pig. Pig, which was really good, actually. Really good. Really with, good film. With, Not what you think it's going to be. With, what's his name? What is his uh, name? <laughs> Nick Cage. Nick Cage. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's kind of a serious... Uh, a little tongue-in-cheek, but it's a drama. It's, it's, it's a good film. It's it's where you think it's gonna go is not where it goes, and it ends up being this really kind of lovely film. Yeah. I, you, yeah, you hit that. Anything that's kind of brown gray seems to be. Hmm. Cool, but not the telescope. <laughs> <laughs> Black, Black Widow. Pushes heard, PG to the. Yeah. Heard it's actiony. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's not bad. I yeah. heard it's not a bad film. Uh, uh, okay, so now I have to go back. Neither, neither of us are big Marvel movie people, so... Or action. We A little bit of action. action films. Yeah. We're both big fans of Mad Max, so... Uh, so I can't go past that yet, so... It's, oh, yeah, you I can. go through the grate. Yeah. And you so get that well get that. There you squishy go. Squishy squish. Uh, I could not figure out how to get back from there, but anyway. And you can go to the right there, but that's hard to do. Oh. It's hard to get back. There. Yeah, I don't know why, it's just really hard. But you can go to the right, mm. um, and also down. So funny. Yeah, that's the mouse. So. Hopefully this doesn't make anybody sick. <laughs> Black Watch. Widow was just okay. Was just okay. Is okay. Pig with Nick Cage? Yes, it is. It is, and it is really good. It is a... Um, independent feeling film um but have really like they they use their budget very wisely um it's a drama it's it does have action parts it does but they're not real they're not what no. you expect which is it's really kind of cool yeah yeah and it and it's like a very simple film that very i simple. think Probably no one would have watched if Nick Cage wasn't in it. You know, it's one of oh, those no. films. It's a very simple story. It wouldn't have got the attention. Of anyone. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, highly recommended. Yes. Yeah, good acting. Good acting by Nick Cage, oh, really. Oh, excellent. Yeah, excellent he's really acting. good in it. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> that dude, he just like... Hardest working man in uh, Hollywood. Uh, he just sure. he, he does whatever comes his way, you know? <laughs> yes. Not choosy. But he's always in interesting films. Yeah. I don't know how so, you get that without dying. Yeah, like... Oh, can you... You can maybe perch on the edge. Uh, ah, smart. Thought so, because there was a bit... There was a tiny little... Edge? Edge there. 
Ding, ding, ding. So it opens that. Yeah, so you can get back to that. Where was that? I, oh, I didn't pay attention. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention Damn either, it. but it's it's uh, you know, it's a straight path back. The music makes me miss XGS mostly for the music. Well, yeah, this music is really great. Bouncy, fun. Everything about this game is top notch. Uh, Caveman TV. Lately, I watch a lot of movie re movie reactions on YouTube. Movie <laughs> reactions. I would, and I said this to James. Move as as people are watching it. Like oh, like <gasps> full movie reactions. Like or like celebrity trailer, movie reactions. Trailer reactions. Or or movie commentary. I mean, there are some comedians who watch movies or TV shows, and you get their reactions. They're quite, it's quite entertaining. Where the hell? It was a little ways back. Or is it on the other side of that? No. 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 I have it was to go back. get the it mouse. It was for sure back. You want to get the... Uh... Oh, yeah. I have to get the mouse first. And the map. Well, you have a lot more score than I did at that stage. Uh, that'll help. Edited full movie reactions. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah. bits and pieces. Yeah. Of... So do I go through that door? There oh, it is. Oh, there it is. Okay. I think we should stream and watch a, watch a classic 80s like war games or something. Oh, oh, it took out the fire. Oh, so you can probably go down there now. Okay. Oh, very nice. Well, there's that rat. Hey, ratty. Um, so... It was back this way, right? Yeah. No. No? No. No. Um, uh, young people watching stuff like Jaws or Jurassic Park for oh. the first time. That stuff is entertaining. Uh... I'm terrible with maps. Is it this way? I've not been paying too much attention. I think attention. so. I am almost certain it's this way. Go through it. <laughs> it's just right above the... the there oh, is. there. And, <gasps> and obviously one that one. Or maybe not. You're not going to go down? I bet uh, there's something I down. I bet it's the wrong... I bet it, that's the temptation, that one. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, I'm missing a ton. Oh my god, I'm missing them all. Oh, it's over and over. Oh, okay. until you turn back, I guess. Oh, that's funny. That's awesome. It's just continuous, continuous, poor little slime. Oh, he's losing. Oh, he's gaining. No, he's gaining. Okay, now I've... Oh, cool. How'd you get... What the... There's trees. Oh, <gasps> god! Oh my god. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a little jumbled to watch. Sorry. This will be an after night game. <laughs> after dark. After dark. <laughs> Hopefully Definitely. you finish it today. Well, we might not finish it. But you might we'll... get the first level. You might get the first level. I'm, I'm getting close. I There's think. an arrow somewhere, too. <gasps> What's that arrow? Sorry about the flipping, people. <laughs> Parkour! It's good practice for, I'm sure, what comes later. Oh, we almost had it. Nice. Okay, there's one over on this side. Close. Oh, you got it! Ooh, there's something with a flashing arrow, yeah, too. Yeah, it's over here. What? So, I'm just being careful. <gasps> How did you do that? That's your escape point? Yep. <gasps> I don't want to go to the arrow yet. No? Get that last... Still haven't gotten slime. everything, but... Ah! <gasps> missed it. 86? Not bad? 
Not bad. Congratulations. Game time nine. Epilepsy warning. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Flashing warning. Yeah. Uh, a little late. Mm. <laughs> Achievements one. Wow, that's crazy. First I love success. That it's finish. Achievements. Slime Hoover, clear all the slime, find all the secrets, win unscratched. Wow. All slime flawless. Wow. Time under two minutes? <gasps> I guess you could speed run it and just get the things you need. Get it, yeah. King of the arcade above, blah. Collect 2,000 slimes. Win 25 times. Flawless 10 times. Nice. Oh my god. Let's see these hard ones. I'm not going to read all those. <laughs> get all the ingredients, pick all the slimes, find all the secrets, flawless 33 times, master every world, speed wow. run all worlds. Okay. Wow. That's a lot of repeat value in play, then. I love that. Locked? Yeah, 21st century edition to a 1980s game. Is this locked? No, this is the second world. Oh, I thought you said it was... Oh, it's locked until you pass. Yep. Uh, but how does it remember? I don't know. Well, it remembers your achievements. It's a computer, I don't know. Uh, yeah, but this isn't uh, a saving computer. Uh, good night, Caffey Man. We know we started pretty late, so... Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at all the... Oh! <gasps> I'm gonna die. That's okay. Oh my goodness. There we go. Yeah, I knew it. <gasps> I knew it. You have to flip. Oh <gasps> my god. Not far enough over. Look at this craziness. So that goes towards. Oh, it's not too bad. It's X. So. Um, yeah, there is a save point, which is good. There you go. What? That's a save point? Oh. Oh, because oh, you hit something. Oh, was it there was a like button? a skull oh, there Oh, there's something. a button. It's the button's right there. Yeah. I just couldn't quite it see it. a little bit like a skull, funnily enough. Onboard Flash. How else could it keep track of achievements? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. It would have to have yeah. that. How else would it keep track of achievements? It would suck to lose progress achievements when you lose power, yeah. Oh my god, yeah. It saves inside the cartridge, Fitoko says. Oh, so cool. That is cool. I like that a lot. This is crazy. Oh, yeah. Mazes! And getting mazy, which uh, is it's not my very favorite. very mazy. Well, who's that upside down? Was here. <laughs> Mario is here. <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. I think I missed that whole screen. There we go. I don't think there's... Oh, there's just one slime. One thingy. Thingy there. There's death right there. Mm. Which way was it? Oh, it was this way. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh, and you get stuck too. Oh. oh. <gasps> and it starts in the in the little thing, of course it does. And this is where I die. <laughs> I'm almost out of uh, power pellets. There we go. All these little thingies. <laughs> oh god. Okay. At least there's no cheap deaths. Well, not, not really. Like something you just mm. fall and die and you can't yeah. even see. Ooh, not yet. Lots of power here. Yum 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 yum. A little bit dangerous, but oh, a little dangerous. Nom nom nom. <laughs> nom nom nom. Nom nom nom. Oh, cat treats. Oh my god. Cat treats. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Ooh. Oh. How am I gonna get up? Oh, you just have to land on it. <sighs> I'm try trying to land yep. on that. Yeah. Oh, there you, you go. have to push immediately. Ooh. Ooh. Clouds. Oh, 
I'm getting a little bit better at that. Ooh! Oh, clouds kill you, apparently. I don't mm. know what's up there, but I have to land not on clouds. There we go. <gasps> so what is it here? Whoa, mm. goodness. Those wires. I'm going to guess those wires kill you. No, there's no way. You wouldn't be able to get that thing in the middle. No, because you probably have to turn them off. Go down to the right. <laughs> Not you're, like you're that. You're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. And then. There's the box. No. No. Nope. No. I bet. Somewhere I else. bet. Yeah. You go from the bottom. <laughs> oh, not that bottom, but yes. <gasps> oh, Jesus. you could land on one, but I don't oh. think you can land on. I don't think you can land on both. I think you do have to. Ooh. There's nowhere to go anyway. Oh, jeez. Electricity only kills when you ground yourself. Mm -hmm. Nice so, one. So that shouldn't <laughs> kill me. Not cloud smoke, yeah, because it's oh. a smokestack. Yeah. Good job, though. 55. Wow. Powering through. That's quite a few. That is awesome. Very, very, very That's cool. A, quite a platform. Yeah. So those are two open, but yep. I doubt they're going to be open if I restart. Uh, it's saving it. It wouldn't in that format, I don't think. Do you want to turn it off and yeah, see? Yeah, I'll see. Yeah. It's unlikely. It's probably not even likely it's going to boot back up that everybody can see it because it's misbehaving. I don't know what's causing it to cut out. It's like the Framemeister isn't... Well, you guys can't see it, but... Because it's stupid. It's in CAR format. Mm-hmm. Which I'm sure it doesn't write to it and alter it, but maybe maybe it does. I don't think it's coming. You guys on can't the see it. It's locked. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So you guys can't see it anyway, but it is locked, which I thought it would be. I don't know what's going on. Yeah. Why it every time I cut out, it 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 like turns off the capture and like mm. destroys the capture card. Really? But you can play it forever, but I have to reset the capture. Weird. That's weird. So hopefully the Retro Tank 5X works better. Works better and just keeps outputting. You're waiting, right? Waiting patiently. Or the capture is broken. Like it's it's gone bad. Which is possible and it doesn't do a perfect job anyway. Yeah. On the 2600 it yeah. drops frames mm. or replicates frames, doesn't drop them. Mm. Yes, cool little action puzzler Captain very, Classic. Very 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 fun. Very fun. Yeah. Um, so today we played The Last Squadron, right here. Such a good game. So good. Yep. Ab Both games today. About Excellent. the right level of difficulty on beginner <laughs> for me. Oh, for, yeah, and yeah. Because I made it through Same. the first level and it was like, it was hard, but yep. not unfair. Yeah. And we played Flob, awesome puzzle and action I want to play, platformer. I want to play more of it. I love puzzle games like that. Yeah. The bad thing is, well, they want you to buy it. Um, <laughs> that you can't That's continue fair. if you turn it off on, mm, on this format. Yeah, on this format, yeah. Maybe if it's on a computer, maybe it saves mm. rather than like this format cartridge. Mm -hmm. like, I, I don't know, but I don't think so. Um, so it was a lot of fun playing on the 8-bit system mm -hmm. on the XEGS. Looking forward to playing more. Um, I'm monitoring for them to sell the Sophia 2s so I can upgrade it so it'll look mm -hmm. gorgeous, look like mm -hmm. the 2600. Very nice. Yep. Yeah. And I mean, it looks very passable right now. It's, it's beautiful. Oh, it's, it's fine. It has a very old school kind of feel to yeah. it with that. It's like, got a blur, like a chromatic aberration kind yeah. of look to it. I like that actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh God, no! We're dying, and we started late. No after after dark today. <laughs> it's so it's hot. It's a little hot here, unfortunately. And late. Oh, it's it's actually the temperature has gone down a little. Oh, amazing. A little bit of cool air has managed to yeah. float in. So yeah, no, it's a little too hot <sighs> hot today. It is. Ugh. Well, thank you, Secor, 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 something like that. Yeah. For distributing the um the amazing game, The Last Squadron. It's it's super super awesome mm -hmm. and uh, getting it to me so we can play it on the yeah, show. Yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. Um, so we've got some shows coming up that I can talk about. 
Uh, let me load up the list. Dun, 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 dun. The list. Coming up next episode, we're going to be playing on Friday with Darcy at noon, much, much earlier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so people in Europe can watch it at night rather than the next morning mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. We're going to be playing Awakening and Grizzards, 2600 games. And actually doing After Dark as well. Uh, because there is a 2600 High Score Showdown Season 5 that f features a homebrew. And it's AVCS Tech Challenge. Mm. Which I love that game on the Commodore 64. This is like a cut down version for the 2600. Patoka says earlier and hotter. <laughs> oh, Actually, it's supposed to start uh, raining, I think, yeah, on Friday. It's, it's gonna so be it might actually down. be cool, which is much better for, for video games. It's supposed really. to be cooler on Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Like significantly, I think. Almost eight degrees cooler, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. And then on next Tuesday we're gonna be doing seventy eight hundred games. And one of them is cool. Dragon's Descent, which cool. off of the seventy eight hundred. Yeah. Which we've never played, which is baffling that we haven't played that mm -hmm. yet. But uh, he just recently re released an update for that. Still a work in progress. And it plays beautifully. So I'm looking forward to that. And mm. I'll pick another 7800 game to play. To play alongside it, yeah. Yep. That sounds like fun. Um, so thanks for tuning in. If you can read off the names. Do you want to slip it or is I it from I can't. Uh, Vitoko 8-Bit, Charles Reese, Captain Classic, Sikor Atari, thank you so much. Uh, Nods. Uh, Dan ABC, where is my squirrely? Here we go. Uh, Charles Wheelands, Atari 2600 dude, Cafe Man 2D, Nutty03. Uh, who else? Who else? Lots of people today. Marco Johannes, slowly getting to the top of the chat here. I think we're pretty far back now. <laughs> yep. Yep. Thank you so much for joining. What are you doing? Showing oh, ha ha ha. Nice. Very that, nice that patch. Yeah. Very nice patch. Thank you, Danny VC, <laughs> for sending that to me. Um, for Zookeeper mm. win. Um, it was a lot of fun playing that in poland it's 7 a.m time to go with sun to kindergarten oh it's it's early then it's the patch cam <laughs> it is the patch cam yes <laughs> so thanks everybody for uh joining us uh and powering through the crash i'll have to join the two parts together to upload to youtube mm. doesn't take too long to do that but it's just annoying <sighs> it's it's annoying when that happens but yeah usually you can recover pretty quick oh so uh, yeah. yeah it rebooted in a couple minutes mm -hmm. um so we'll be back on friday at noon pacific time 3 p.m eastern and uh with darcy with darcy and then we'll be back tuesday with, with tanya so thank you everybody for tuning in and we'll see you then Yay. bye, bye. everyone